Hi everyone! In this video I am going to show you the way I bind the quiet book pages, namely a game board of felt for sewing on buttons kit, which I made in my previous video. After reading blog posts and watching binding videos, I've now figured out my own technique that works for me. And I hope it works for you too. Let's start. Well, how to figure out the length of the binding strip? For example, the project I'm binding in this tutorial is 18 by 18 centimeters, so the formula looks like this. 18 multiplied by 4, 4 is the number of sides of the project I need to bind, is 72 and plus 5 centimeters extra. So the strip width is 3 and a half centimeters and the strip length is 77 centimeters. Start your binding in the center of your project. And fold the raw edge over 1 centimeter. Match the binding and the felt board edges and sew with 8 mm seam allowance. As you come up to the corner, lay the binding along the edge and using a ruler and marking pen mark a line 8 mm up from the end of your project. Stitch up to that line, leaving your needle down directly in the marked line. Lift your presser foot and rotate the project. Now stitch off corner with the 45 degree angle. Without cutting your threads, lift your presser foot and fold the binding strip straight up, creating a diagonal fold. Then fold the strip straight down, being careful not to disturb the first fold. It should be lined up perfectly with the edge of the bias crease you created and the raw edge of your project. Bring it back onto the presser foot and stitch 8 mm away from the edge, making sure to back stitch at the beginning to keep everything securely in place. Keep going until you reach the next corner and repeat these steps.
when you get all the way around, overlap the edges of the binding strip. The bottom layer should be folded over 1 cm so that no raw edges will be sticking out. Once everything is stitched, cut out the ends of the threads and trim any excess binding. When the binding is turned, it gives a nice metered corner. Now let's prepare it for the machine stitching. Don't start at a corner, just start at some point along one of the stride sides. Fold the binding over halfway and then in half again so the binding covers the raw edge of the project. Then pin or clip in place. I use the paper clips for this step. Continue for all four sides. So the corner. Start by folding up the bottom edge. Then fold the other edge of the binding over the top. I use a large thick needle to hold the fold in place. The seam meets at a 45 degree angle. So here it is a perfect metered corner. Secure that corner with the wonder clip. Repeat the process for all corners.
Once everything is clipped in place, it's time to finish the project with machine stitching. I'm going to use a zigzag stitch. Here are the settings I use for my machine. Sew it down right along the edge of the binding. Sew to the corner and once I remove the clip, I use my large thick needle to guide the fabric. Stop in the needle down position, rotate the project and continue on the second side. You should be able to continue around the entire perimeter of the project without breaking thread. I backstitch once I get to where I started. Tie all the threads together. Using the self-threading needle, bury the threads between the layers and clip off the thread ends. Ta-da! Here is my finished game board. Beautiful, isn't it? I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Please let me know if there is anything I can add to make this tutorial better. I would like to get your feedback. Feel free to comment, like and subscribe. Join me on Pinterest and Instagram as well. You can find there a lot of interesting ideas and useful tips. And if you like my work, you can support me and pledge as little as $1 per month to be my patron. Have a nice day. 
बाय